Hey Sagittarius, this is Alex and I'm here to bring you your healing messages for 2021 and whenever. The format for these readings will be, first line will be you, your energy, any messages God, angels, universe has for you. Second line will be love and relationship. Third line will be career finances. And then following that, I will do a freestyle, which is basically channeled messages for all of you, some of you, one or two of you from God, angels, and universe directly, okay? So where you are concerned, Sagittarius, first card out is crystals and focus. I tell you, if that ain't advice for Sagittarius, I don't know what is, okay? Um, Sagittarius, you guys are the wanderers of the zodiac, the explorers of the zodiac. Um, for crystals and focus, you know, crystals uh, are formed when molten magna, magma in the earth starts to cool down. So I do kind of feel like when things are hot and heavy in your life, Sagittarius, angels, God, universe are wanting you to basically kind of bring it down, cool it down, you know, don't lose focus. Definitely Sagittarius is, again, one of those signs. It's like, ooh, look at this and ooh, look at that, right? Um, you guys are the thinkers, so to speak, of the Zodiac, right? Even being a fire sign. So it just kind of feels like God, angels, and universe are wanting you guys to remain focused and or to stop losing focus or stop giving your attention and energy away so freely okay wolf instinct i love this i think wolf is one of my totem animals but you know a wolf is unrelenting a wolf is is somebody who will study their prey and also stalk their prey you know to learn basically how to kill it okay so I do kind of feel like the reason why God, angels, and universe are wanting you guys to remain focused is so that you can develop an instinct, a sixth sense, uh, inner knowing of how to plan your quote unquote attack. Green man, energy. I love this. I love this. I love this. Excuse me. Synergy. Um, this is um, synchronicities, right? Synchronicity. Um, angels are saying to me to tell you, Sagittarius, it's all coming together. But here's the most important piece of this message. It can all come together, but it also includes you. So if you're not in it, then it can't come together. It's almost like that proverbial, oh, if a tree falls and there's no one to hear it, will it make sound? The answer is yes, it makes sound because sound is not defined by the human ear, which is actually the definition of sound, but just there are um, other sounds that the human ear, say for instance, cannot detect or, you know, because dogs have greater hearing than humans. Anyway, I'm digressing. But um, I just kind of feel like angels are wanting you guys to ground into something, to determine, to make a decision about something, whether it's yourself, whether it's where you want to be, who you want to be in a relationship, what kind of job you want to uh, work at or what kind of career you want where you want to live it's almost like god angels universe are wanting you to kind of settle in that remain focused and i don't care if the sun falls out of the sky god angels and universe are saying to you sagittarius remain focused remain grounded keep your eye on a prize don't let go okay definitely there with the grounding energy right? That tree energy, we all know about roots and how deeply roots, you know, go and flow and, um, you know, how they travel, how they grow. Um, roots uh, obviously has everything to do with family. It has to do with grounding. It has to do with, um, root chakra, your connection to the earth, your feet. You know, some of you could have issues with your feet or even have recently had foot surgery, foot pain, but I do kind of feel like um, this first line for you, Sagittarius, has everything to do with how you connect to Earth, how you connect to planets, how you connect to energy, and your footing in that, right? All right, let's see what's going on for love and relationships. Oh, <laughs> I can't let go of control issues. Give your relationship a chance. Oh, I love this message. Children, yay. 
And then the card at the bottom is wedding. Woohoo! Now, this has to do with your, okay. Remember the first line is you yourself, okay? But now when we talk about you yourself in relationships, okay? We're saying to you, stand your ground, okay? Don't be pushed around. Definitely don't be bullied in your relationship. Allow your thoughts, feelings, and desires to be known as well, okay? But also at the same time, be careful about trying to control or to manage or to manipulate or to, you know what I mean? It's almost like let go of control issues. It's almost like, look, I'm good. I know me. I know the type of person that I want to be with. If you're that person, great. If you're not that person, great. I know me. I know what I want and what I need. That's exactly what we mean about stand your ground, stay grounded, but not being it, not, you know, kind of taking the reins of control and trying to control your situation. Trying to control your situation is, this is an example. I know who I am. I know what I need. I know the type of person who's best suited for me. So you need to work on this and you need to work on that or I'm out. That's controlling your relationship. Okay. Not only that, but it's weird that angels gave me that as an example, because the whole thing about give your relationships a chance and let go of control issues. Yeah. I do kind of feel like maybe for some of you guys, there is some sort of manipulation there. I don't know if this is a scare tactic and saying, you know, kind of like these ultimatums left and right could be your person doing it to you, which is why angels may need you to stand your ground. Right. And that basically says, don't be pushed around. If somebody's giving you an ultimatum, if they're trying to control you, if, if they're trying to make it seem like, oh, this is not going to work. They're trying to use like a scare tactic. Oh, I don't think we're great for each other, but I'm going to give you a chance. That's manipulation and control, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Not only that, but this could be somebody who you have children with and who you are currently married to, right? We're also saying to you, it still doesn't fly in those situations. So I don't even care if you are married to your person, spouse, whomever. I don't care. You you still have the right to be, you are still an in, individual in that relationship. And you most certainly have the right to put your foot down, speak up for yourself and to remain focused. What I just also got intuitively for some of you guys, your marriage and or relationship could be on the rocks. And you're trying to figure out, should I stay or should I go? Well, Sagittarius, for the first time in the history of ever, I'm going to say to you to go ahead and act selfishly in saying, well, what's in this for me, right? Am I seen as an individual in this? Am I respected? Am I loved for who I am? Am I given love and respect and common courtesy and, and you know, just just consideration and joy just based on who I am? Or are you in this with me because you feel like you can manipulate me or because you feel like I'm a pushover? Ooh, I feel like that hit somebody in the chest, right? Um, and then at the same time, you guys know that these readings could be reversed as well. It could be your person saying this to you, Sagittarius, right? Whereas again, you may need to put your foot down and be like, look, I can't letting go of control issues. I can't make you stay. You, if you are going to stay, stay because you want to stay, not because you feel like you have to stay or because I want you to stay. Okay. Now let's talk about career and finance. Caring connections. Oh, a lot of you guys, you could work with your spouse or lover or mate or whomever. Right. Um, what I'm also getting from caring connections, right? Cause this is career and finance. So why would this emotional card as an example, be in career and finance placement? Well, Sagittarius, it's simply because are you connected that to your work? Are you doing the type of work that you love or are you just collecting a check? Oh, for 2021, a lot of you guys, 2021, 2022, whenever this re reading resonates, a lot of you guys may kind of reconsider you know, angels are pointing me back to this children card, you know, that childlike wonder, childhood dreams, you know, oh, I want to be a doctor when I grow up. I do kind of feel like that has a connection to your caring connections in your career and finances sector. What it was that you desired to be when you were growing up, did you achieve that? Right? Not only that, is it still on the table? You know, is it something that you're still considering or is it lost and gone? What I'm also getting to for some of you is that your career could be inter interfering with your relationship, right? 
or how you are in your career. You're that same person in your relationship. Maybe, you know, um, at work you take orders and direction and at home you take orders and direction and, you know, God Angels Universe is saying to you, Sag, is your heart really in this or are you just so used to taking orders and direction? Oh, sorry. Financial constraints. The, yeah. I get the feeling, in all honesty, as soon as I saw that card, I kind of, I hear the words, I'm doing this because I have to, not because I want to. Okay? And that could relate to your relationship. It could re relate to, again, how you view, view the world, how you connect to the world. Are you realistically doing things because you have to, not because you want to, right? Because caring connections says to me, do it because you want to. Her back is turned to him, but guess what? He's still showing love, okay? He's loving the crap out of her back, okay? So I'm also hearing whatever it is that you want does it want you back? Okay. And again, that to me has everything to do with focus because again, we're not going to bring anything into our energy field that does not have some sort of energy match inside of us. So Sagittarius, are you finding yourself a lot of the times in situations that you absolutely, absolutely don't want to be in because those are the situations that you created internally first? As in kind of like a whatever energy or, you know, this eventually will probably go away or this will probably end or I'm not going to get what I want. I mean, are you creating that from the jump street and then it's trickling over it either into love and finances? I don't know. I'm just, just saying. Love it. Anxiety. Anxiety, financial constraints, and caring connection. Is your relationship interfering with your money? Some of you. Um, is your job interfering with your relationship? Some of you. Obviously, anxiety is self-explanatory because I do feel ultimatum. I just keep hearing ultimatum. Like somebody is basically giving you the choice of giving you an ultimatum. Like, look, you're either going to continue to work 60, 70 hours a week and neglect our family, or you're going to come home and be grounded and, and put your energy and attention inside of our home. Like you choose, you decide. Woman holding a heart is at the bottom. And again, this is your career sector, right? Um, which says to me another story. A lot of you guys don't love what you do. You don't. You just do it because you need the money. And you hate it. And it gives you horrible anxiety. And you wish you could change it. You wish you can get out of it. Well, God, angels, universe says to you, Sagittarius, focus and then, you know, take the leap of faith if that's what you choose to do. Right. Um, not only that, but stalking. <laughs> Sorry, it says wolf and instinct, but I just automatically said stalking and stalking is research. Stalk stalking is studying. It's not just the, you know, lifetime movie of the week stalking. Right. Stalking is learning and observing your environment so you understand how to act, respond, and move in that environment. And I feel like in a nutshell, um, Sagittarius, again, these are healing messages. I really do feel like that's something you guys need to meditate on. You need to bring into your existence. You need to regurgitate over and over. You need to wear it on your forehead, stick it on the front of your car, stick it on the bathroom mirror. Everywhere you go, this instinct, this, this observing, this understanding, this grounding, this, you know, understanding how things flow and how nature moves and how the universe moves. I really do feel like that is going to be the solution to every last problem in your life, right? Because a lot of the times, again, I feel like this is something that you guys are overlooking. I really do feel that strong in my bones. Okay. So those are your Oracle card messages. Now what I'm going to do is a freestyle to see what messages maybe come up for the collective, um, you know, collective Sagittarius or one to a group of individuals. Somebody's talking to me and saying, yeah, Alex, I know because it's just, it's just been this way for so long. Sometimes I don't know how to change it. I don't know how to do things differently because I've been doing these things for so long. And I'll just simply say to you, just start with one step. And just keep taking steps. And before you know it, just like the song, put one foot in front of the other, 
And, you know, before you know it, you'll turn around and see that you've moved miles and miles away from who you used to be. Okay. I'm also hearing, but my family, my kids, um, as in you don't want to rock the boat or you don't want to take the chance because you could be the head of household. You could be, um, responsible for your spouse and your kids and your house and the car notes and insurance and all of those things. So it's almost like, well, who am I to just go and get what I want when I have all of this stuff that I'm responsible for? I will simply say to you, number one, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, if people are really rocking for you, with you, not your kids, right? Because you know, it's almost like they're, they're not going to be able to assist in making a decision for you. But if people are really rocking, rocking with you, they're going to support you no matter what. Not only that, but they're also going to step up to help you achieve your dreams as well. Okay. Maybe for you, it's just a matter of putting it out there and saying, Hey guys, I hate my job. I want to quit. I want to go to nursing school. Okay. And I feel like you would be surprised at the feedback that you got. It was like, oh my God, thank goodness. Yeah, you're miserable there. Okay, so how do we get this done? How do we start it, right? For you, Sagittarius, a part of it is just speaking it, just saying it, just, you know, opening up about it, right? And it's almost like as soon as you do, as soon as you take that one step, as soon as you take that leap of faith, the universe is going to meet you. The universe is going to meet you and that light energy is going to meet you to help move you along on your path. The anxiety card just caught my attention here as well. I just kind of feel like I want to say to you, I mean, aren't you tired? Haven't you been living this way for so long? Aren't you tired of living this way? Aren't you tired of the anxiety? Aren't you tired of pulling up at work or logging on to work and sucking your teeth or, you know, feeling that anxiety? You have the power and the control to change that. Now, what I'm also hearing too is that, yeah, Alex, but I make like, you know, $175,000 a year. I understand that. But is your anxiety and stress, is that worth $175,000 a year? Right? Surely you have to mean more than that. Right? You have to ground yourself in some sort of existence, right? Because at the end of the day, are you living or are you just existing? Right? I can almost guarantee by default you're living, right? You have pulse, you have breath going through your lungs, right? But are you also existing and just, again, you're a hamster on a wheel? What other messages, God, angels, universe? They want to be sure is what I'm hearing. There's no such thing as ever being sure because like with the uh, instinct and observing, you could say, okay, I'm not going to do it until the kids graduate, right? Then the kids graduate and you do it, but it's too late or you're tired or, you know what I mean? So there's never such, there's never a thing. There's no such thing as perfect timing on the human level. Only the universe owns that perfect and or divine timing. I mean, hell, that's why it's called divine timing. Okay, so what do I need to do? Now, as always, I'm never going to advise you guys to just go para, you know, parachuting off that, that cliff or that mountain, especially if you've not done your homework, research, and if you've never done it before, right? So again, take baby steps. Just start with research. You know, um, if you have a job, especially if you make that kind of money, then I would assume that you have high or large responsibilities, so the idea of doing both may not be possible, but if you are in a position where you can start this second career at the same time that you're working your current job, I would, all, I would say definitely do them both. Okay. Um, if you're in a position again, where you can't, I would say just start the research and look to see if there are night classes or weekend classes, or if there's like a boot camp or anything like that, where you can take like an accelerated course, right? I just kind of feel, especially here again, and I keep pointing back to this, the Sagittarius self portion. I just feel like Sagittarius, you did not come to this planet to serve everybody else. You did come to the planet to serve the rest of us on our journeys, to help the rest of us keep our flames alive, right? 
but also too, you came to experience pleasure and growth and happiness and joy and those things are well as well. So it's almost like stop being a slave to number one, your thoughts, your desires, your responsibility, not your desires, but stop being a slave to your thoughts, your responsibilities, your, you know, what you feel you should be doing, what your parents wanted you to do, what you were groomed to do, you know, kind of like that whole, oh, well, this is what I should be doing. I mean, I'm 50 years old. I can't go and start singing. Well, we'll say to you, why can't you? You know, you may make 175 at your current job, but as a singer, you may make 350. Okay. Anyway, Sag, I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. If this reading does resonate, you guys know what to do. Love you. Bye.